Hi guys, it's Carrie from Rock and G Farm. Well, today on the farm, I'm just going to get caught up on some farm chores that I need to do. And I need to get, so I need to get my plants out of the greenhouse, hardened off and watered. And then I have some other chores with the farm animals that I need to get done. So just join me today as we're just gonna do it vlog style here on the farm. Well, I was gonna go gather eggs. However, I have a hen that is laying at the moment and I don't want to make her mad. So I will just go ahead and start on moving my plants out of the greenhouse and over here into the garden area just to harden off. I've had them out just a couple of days last week. It wasn't this, this sunny. It was sunny, but not quite so bright. Not this hot. Definitely. It's already, I think, in the 80s. It was about that when I was coming home from work this morning. So what it is in the greenhouse today. Today it is 94 in the greenhouse. I've got to get these up, these plants out of here and watered. And I'll just let you watch. Let me let me show you what I've got. Let me turn you around. I have a little bag here. It's got all my tools and it's it has a little bit of Velcro. These are for my hanging baskets, but they are um, not ready to be made yet. So there's that. I've got fertilizer, plants, plants, plants everywhere. I've got tons and tons of plants. Um, they don't like this heat. I wouldn't like this heat either. But we can see all of those plants behind me. I've got all these plants up here. I've got some petunias down here on the floor. A lot of, a lot of stuff. So let's just get this, get this door opened and propped opened so that there can be a breeze. I do have a fan going, but they still are not liking this. And I'm gonna have to move this piece of stuff out of my way because I have snakes everywhere. And they like to come around my greenhouse. When I had that laying on the floor, they would be right there by my feet and I wouldn't know it. There's probably one here in the greenhouse right now and I don't know it. Okay, guys, I'm just going to set you down because I don't want to drop anything. We're going to go real fast, get these out. I'm going to get them watered. I fertilized them last Thursday, so they don't need any fertilizer today. They just need some water and out of this heat. So let me get y'all setting down under the umbrella over here. I'm gonna take a little drink because that that ha that greenhouse is hot, really, really hot. <laughs> but guys, I'm so excited. My husband weed eated and mowed my area out here, and um, it just looks so beautiful. I'm so excited, so so very beautiful. I will show you later. Just hold on with me, guys. We're gonna have a fun day today, and you're just gonna see how my crazy brain works because everybody tells me I have ADD and squirrel and I know squirrel. So I'm gonna have to go get a piece of paper and write some stuff down so I can stay on task too because I want to make sure I have a lot off my plate today and not parts and pieces off my plate. So let me get started on getting these plants out. Okay guys, this is just how my life works. So I get my, my phone and everything ready to re record. <laughs> And of course, I get a warning that my battery is fixing to die. So I will get as much <laughs> moving the plants out of the greenhouse as I can right now. And then I'm going to go and plug y'all back up. And um, hopefully by that time, I can get some water on these plants and more battery to my Ooh, red wasp. And by that time, hopefully red wasp. <laughs> <laughs> It took me 35 minutes to remove all of the plants from the greenhouse. Okay guys, I've got all of my plants out and I'm gonna water my chickens real quick before I bring the water hose over here. But I'll just kind of span you around and just kind of let you see all of the plants that we have out today. A lot of them. 
mainly tomatoes and peppers and basil because I am going to do, I don't think I'm going to do the, the farmer's market just because it's hard for me to get up there on Saturday. However, I'm going to have a farm stand at the end of the road and hopefully have everything there that I am not going to be putting in my garden. To watch my girls back there. I have one rooster who likes to follow me. Don't know if he's trying to get me or what, but here's one of my bug. One of my apple trees. This one doesn't look too good, but it's coming back. It this um trees were eaten by the grasshoppers the last two summers and they're just now coming back. So uh I pruned it really well and I pruned the other one right there really well. So we're just gonna let that get watered right quick. Let's go see. I'm hoping I have one breeding pair of Americanas in my breeding pen. I haven't been able to catch the rest of them. They are too fast for me. And if I have to, I'm gonna have like just seven eggs every other week. Yep, there's another egg. Let me get it out real quick. Let you watch. But it's right in there in that bucket. don't know if you can tell on this but this is a blue egg it's from an Americana so I'm gonna run this in and put it in my stash with my other with her other eggs that I'm going to try to hatch hopefully by the end of this week I should have I think I have two or three of hers already so I'm just trying to get as much as I can by the end of the week um, I just got a set of eggs hatched in the one incubator. I have another incubator going and I think those will hatch in 11 days. And when I get enough Americanas, I am going to try to do Americanas and we might just have to continuously keep them in the breeding pen all summer so that I can get enough Americanas to ensure that I have plenty of Americanas because I have these bugs today. I have, it went up my nose, guys. That bug went up my nose. <laughs> Gross. Um, so anyway, on these Americanas, I am hoping to get another batch. So we'll see. And I also hope that I can catch some more Americanas. I've got a lot of garden stuff on my table so that um, I can have more Americanas. Right now I've got five and I think three of them are hers. Two of them were just blue and I was kind of just shooting in the wind to see if I could make sure that um, or see if I could hatch those other two out because the other Americanas, they all stay kind of together. So I'm kind of shooting in the wind to see if one of the other Americanas roosters and hens got together in those other two eggs. So long story short, we hope we have some more Americanas. So anyway, let's go back out here and water the chickens. And then I'll show you the rest of the plants. It's mighty hot out here today, guys. Wish I would had a pool. My sister has a pool, but I don't think she's opened it yet. Still a little early to open a pool, but oh well. We get out here and um, water the rest of these fruit trees. We have two apple trees and one peach tree. The peach tree, I have a video of me and my mom doing together the day that we bought it. It's leaning a little bit with all the wind. I'm gonna have to 
support it up somehow. But, oh yeah, this one's watered pretty good. So we did have two peach trees, but last year something happened. Don't know what. Craziness. It's just life. Who, who knows? But for some reason, the two peach trees bit the big one. And so I've replaced it with a contender peach tree. And it's not supposed to have need a pollinator. But I still want some more peach trees. <laughs> like I said, our local um, nurseries are closing. And so are <laughs> our local orchards. It's like five minutes from my house and it's closing after being open forever upon ever upon ever. So I'm going to have to grow my own fruit now. So we'll have to go get another peach tree. I want some plums. I'd love to have some pecans. So I'd have to spend the money on those to get big trees so I could get pecans soon. Oh, geez, Louise, if I get stung by a wasp, I'm not going to be happy. No. All right, guys, let me finish this up and then we'll get back over to the, the plants. Okay, guys, we're going to say this is going to be it for the day. I've been out here for a long time and I am ready for a break. So I will have a part two tomorrow so just look forward to the second half of this video but guys thanks for joining me today and make what you have beautiful